it is uh, pretty much the same throughout the world that the companies that succeed, albeit they've got to have a good idea, they've got to have uh, enough money to get the job done, but you will succeed or fail, I think ultimately based on the quality of, of your leadership and the quality of the talent that you attract to, uh, to work with you. So why does talent, uh, if, you, if you ask questions, why, why would great people want to come and work with you and help you build your company? People, people work for a variety of things. We think about money first. We think about show me the money. Sooner or later, you've got to show somebody some money. But most people will not work only for money. And the people who are capable of working only for money or desire to work only for money may not be the people you want. And they'll find plenty of opportunities to work for money. The other things that will attract talent to your business really are, are more subtle. Um, it's opportunity, it's self-fulfillment, it's belief in the mission, it's belief in you personally, uh, and, and you shouldn't discount that. Most of you don't because an entrepreneurial business by its nature is, is a, uh, almost a messianic crusade at some time. People will, people will follow you because they believe in the cause, and often you are the cause. So that means by definition they, they believe in you and you, you, can't, you can't discount that. But if you look at the question that, that, that Nick posed in terms of how you attract people, and I'll say how you attract people and how you retain people, because if you can attract them but you can't retain them, you've just, you're in a cycle that won't allow you to grow. Uh, there's four or five things that, that you could list that motivate people. And I would urge you to think about how you can be generous uh, with at least a couple of them. And you probably have to be adequate with the rest of them. And if you're limited in, in money or you're limited in equity, um, those are two tough challenges. And we'll talk about some of that maybe in, 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 the, in the questions. Then you've got to be generous on some of the other things. And that, that would be the mission, uh, the belief, and, and uh, the belief in you. The, the, the opportunity for actualization and, and responsibility and freedom and any number of other things that, that, that people can, um, can look to you to provide so that they will join you in this quest and you, and you can build your company with, with great leaders and, and great, great teams. Because I think fundamentally the challenge that most of you will face, and I think my, my, my colleagues will, will point out, Normally not in the negotiation uh, of the venture uh, investment. The, uh, the challenge comes later down the, down the line when the, the, that, that very difficult day comes for some, when it's time for you to step aside, move to chairman, move out of the CEO role, and bring in a professional. That, that's actually a much better discussion if it's led by you than if it's fought by you. But uh, sooner or later, it, it inevitably will come and how it gets handled will probably have more than almost anything else that you might choose to do with whether your company stays small and successful and, and, and centered around you or whether it has the ability to scale and grow and become a, an enterprise of, of, of substance and size.